Hey there guys. I am on the island of Kauai and you can tell it's a little bit windy, which seems to be pretty much the standard thing here. Um, it's these gusty winds that sustain themselves 10, 20 plus miles per hour all day throughout most of the island. And that's what actually makes the island really challenging to fish um, from shore. And shore fishing is really challenging. So I thought I'd feature a fishery here that's actually really easy. It's quite fun something you could do with your kids. You could go to the local Walmart, pick up like a $20 combo with bobber and hooks and little spinners and spoons. You can come out here and catch a lot of fun fish. And that is tilapia fishing in the freshwater lakes and ponds that are all around these resorts everywhere, around the golf courses and resorts. There's a lot of areas you can easily access them. There's abandoned lots and such. And if you're staying there, you won't have any problems. So today, uh, I'm at one of the Marriott ponds today. I thought I'd just show you how to catch these tilapia. They actually fight really hard. They're about the size of your hand and they're really beautiful. Um, and it's kind of a, just a different experience and something easy to do with kids. Uh, if you're wanting to distract your kids from a little bit of time while you're in Hawaii, do a little bit of fishing. Or if you're just like me and just like catching fish, I've found the surf fishing here to be really challenging. It's very snaggy. Uh, you lose a lot of gear. You don't catch a lot of fish. It's just very intense because of the surf. So I'm gonna start with here, uh, just a little Panther Martin, and uh, we'll see if we can drum up some uh, tilapia. Let's now you can find these tilapia pretty much anywhere out here. They do tend to hang to the edges of the ponds. I'm just using a little medium light five and a half foot rod. Now they'll hit spinners and spoons, but they're actually vegetarians. Um, and I've caught them on jigs too, but they'll also take bait. So we're going to try a little bit here with spinner spoon. If you don't get anything, then we'll switch up to some bait rigs. Oh, they got a fish there. There we go. That's our first one of the day. So you can see they're very bright blue. They got some iridescence. Bright blue on the lip there. This is a smaller one. Got that on that Panther Martin. Yeah, kind of a cool looking fish. All right, let's get another one. Hopefully we get a bigger one. You can try different retrieval speeds, just see what they're after. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. And if you get bit in one area, keep casting in there because they're very territorial and sometimes they'll lash out. Get them to commit. There we go. There's one right there. Nice. They're such good fights. They remind me of bluegill. That's a solid fish there. Yeah. You can check them out. Really cool looking fish. Decent size to them. Really pretty blues on the lips there. And yeah, it's gorgeous markings on the tail. Go and get that out of there. They're actually kind of a thick bodied fish, meaty. Let's see if we can get another. So here along the bank, there's like weed, weedy overhang and structure. I think they guard that structure and hide out in there like a lot of other freshwater fish. They hold on that structure. There's one right there, little one. <laughs> Oop, there he goes. Back in the water, quick release. I got came out from right along the bank there. Yeah, there was a bite. There's another bite, little one. I actually got him. Look how tiny that guy is. That's a beast. Oh, actually, that's a little sunfish. Check that out. A little green sunfish. That's cool. Super pretty. 
I haven't caught one of those in one of these ponds yet. Just never know in these uh, Hawaiian waters what you're going to find. It's all kinds of introduced fish. There's one. Nice. Another tilapia. Sweet. That was got a little bit of red blush on the cheek. That guy's a dumpy little thing. Look how short he is. He's fat. There we go. Like I said, if you get bit, send it back to that same spot because they're territorial. And I don't think that they're necessarily feeding a lot on small fish or things like that. Oh, there's another one. And uh, the only reason they're responding that way is just, there's another, that looks like it's a little bit different shape one. I think it's still the same species though. They'll come back and hit it again and again. They're just very aggressive. Oh, there's fish. Feels like a little one. That's a little guy. Got a little pair of hemostats with me. Makes it a little bit easier. Get that hook up. Here we go. Oh, there's fish. So tilapia are actually in the cichlid family. And they're a pretty important food resource for humans across the globe because of their ability to thrive in really poor water conditions. And they're very thick, you can see. There's a lot of meat on that fish. Even for a small fish, you'd probably get some decent fillets off that. All right. Now, if you're fishing with kids, obviously it's gonna be windy. It's gonna be tough to use like spinners and spoons. They're gonna end up in the grass and snagged up. So we're gonna switch up to an easier technique. Um, instead of this little Panther Martin, we're gonna try some bobber and bread. Since these guys are vegetarian, I'm betting that they'll take some bread balls. So let's go make some of those. Okay, just basic rigger. Got a little like size six or eight hook. Picked up in the Walmart around here. And a little split shot up above it. Okay, and then I'll just put a little snap on bobber weight. So that you got about three or four feet down to your bread. So I'm just gonna take and make a little dough ball around the hook. Let's pack that in good. that on the hook. And solidify it back around there. So it stays. So there we go. And like I said, you can get most of this stuff in a pre-made kit at Walmart for 20 bucks. You'll get the rod, bobber, weight, little hooks all you need to grab some bread somewhere or corn i think would work as well but let's give it a shot there we go it's not swimming sideways that's a good size one yeah i almost need a pencil bobber these guys are such light biters chunky fish though Go again. Let's see if there's another one in here. I'm just letting that. Oop, there's a bite. I saw it, saw it, saw it. Just chewing on it. There we go. Another one. There's a big school of them right there. <laughs> it's awesome. Kids would enjoy this. Heck, I'm having fun.
Look at those crazy guys. Er, look at the color on there, the metallics. Very beautiful. So once you find one, oftentimes there'll be a few more right there. They seem to pack into this tight area. You can almost do a like, cane pole fishing here. You don't even need to buy a rod, really. You just buy a, go find a stick and uh, tie a line to it. There's a bite. There he is. Got him. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Ooh, ah, look at the size of that one, guys. It's a tank. Boom. That's a big fatty. Look at the colors on it. It's beautiful. Get that big guy back in the water. Really cool fish, though. Look at the size of that cichlid. Awesome. Like I said, I think uh, corn or peas would probably work a little better in this scenario. Uh, it'd stay on there better for kids. They don't want to worry about it. This guy just grabbed a bear hook. Look at that. That's crazy. He just grabbed a bear hook. Maybe we don't even need bait. Let's try it. Let's do a bear hook. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get one on a bear hook. See, there's a bunch of them out here. That guy went out to the bobber. There we go. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you see that hit on the bear hook? Wild. Oof. They don't hold on to it as long as they do with the bread. Alright. Let's give it. This is going to be the time. I'll get them this time. Just chewing on it. No. There we go. Oh, I lost him. Definitely the bread seems to help. I gotta get one on the bear. Oh, that was a bluegill or something or a green sunfish. There we go. Oof, nope. Maybe they're grabbing the sinker. There we go. Bear hook tilapia. <laughs> That's great. Alright, so bear hooks work, but not the greatest. Let's try a little uh, bit of plastic here, see if I can find a plastic. I'm just gonna take a little bit off the end of this uh, little plastic minnow I have here. I'm just gonna use the tail, thread it up on there. See if that, uh, that's all it takes to get them to hold on to it. A little, something a little squishier in the mouth. That looks pretty yummy to me if I were a hungry tilapia. No. Red still seems to be a little bit better for grabbing. Oh, that was a good grab. There we go. Oh, that was a big one, man. That was a big, big tilapia. That was a monster. Nope. Let's see if I can drag it through there. Nope. We've got to let them chew on it a little bit. There's a bite. Another bite. Oh, how did I miss that? Man, this is harder than it looks. Definitely the bread, they just hold on to it. They want to chow on that. Plastic's not as good. There we go. That's a good size one too. Look at that. <laughs> Tilapia. Got him good. I love these little Alua hooks. Maybe they're grabbing the tail. I bet you they are. You gotta let them chew on it a little bit. I didn't let them chew on it long enough. It's like you gotta get a little competition bite going down there. Like one will grab it and then they'll grab it. And then once he takes it down for a while and then you set the hook. There you go. 
Oh, this is a tank. This is a monster. Look at the size of that one. Let's make dinner out of that one. Arr. Let's get another. I think I figured out the technique. So you let it go down. They bop it a few times. Let them keep chewing on it until you get a good long. See, that was too soon. That was too soon. There's a finesse game to this. Finesse tilapia. Let them chew on it. There's a bite. Let them chew on it a little bit more. You need a competition bite. There's a... There we go. Another nice one. Yes. Oh, we almost took the plastic there. I want my plastic bag, buddy. Hard lips, like this guy. Oh, he almost stole my plastic. These are the blue lips. All right, let me re-thread this on here. Wind's blowing it. There we go. Little guy. I think I probably could catch like a hundred fish here in an hour. Nice flutter, bud. All right, let's get one more decent one. See how our bait's holding on the bit off the tail, but I don't think that even matters. Here, there's a bite. Nope, lost. Come on now. Oh, that's a bite. Good bite. Nice one. Look at that tank. Yeah, it's a fatty. Well, that's a good one to end the day on. Gorgeous fish, these tilapia. Lots of fun. Cheap and easy to catch as well. So if you're looking for something different to do while you're on Kauai, just find a little golf course pond, a resort pond, and uh, catch some tilapia. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter not harder. Aloha.